I am a fan well, of Luka Doncic, and, and, and the reality of the situation is, and I'm going to say this as well, even though he's European, you know what I'm saying, being of a white complexion, being able to speak the English language as well as he already speaks it. That we're having uh, that carryover from practice into the games, and uh, that's what you want to see out of a group that's kind of newly formed together, but also has a, a really old core here. Uh, we're all trying to flourish. We all want to see each other win, um, but only time we get tested is in those pressure situations. The Dallas Mavericks opened up the 2023 NBA season with a fire start. They won four out of their first four games and are looking to conquer the Western Conference. Of course, four games is a small sample size, and it is just too early to say anything. But they might be on to something this year, and the main reason for that would obviously be Luka Doncic. The Slovenian wonder has been killing it, looking even more unguardable than before, averaging 33.8 points, 10.5 rebounds, and 9.8 assists. Before we jump on the bandwagon, let's take a look behind the reasons why Luka and the Mavs are playing at such a high level, looking at the roster and projecting some possible outcomes for later in the season. First things first, Luka has been playing great and is the heart of the Dallas Mavericks offense. He has been having crazy performances game in and game out, and even looks to be in peak playing shape. That's something scary to consider, but if we go a couple months back to the 2023 FIBA World Cup, we can see the first signs of Luka's new unlocked level of performance. Luka had a great World Cup performance, finishing the tournament as the number one scorer with a 27 points per game average, while also adding 7.1 rebounds and 6.1 assists. These stats are crazy for an NBA season, let alone a FIBA tournament where the rules are different and the game is more team-oriented than in the NBA. Luka also played 32.2 minutes in eight games, and those were some eight hard-fought games. Slovenia's offense was mostly running through Luka, and everybody was preparing for that, sending double teams and even triple teams after him. Luka looked great throughout the entire tournament, and his performance was enough to get him in the tournament's All-Star 5. This tournament served as a great preparation for the upcoming season, as the basketball displayed was phenomenal and there were a lot of close games. While Luka is already an experienced player, especially for his age, this tournament surely made him mature even more, which is probably where he mostly improved. Ever since Luka joined the Dallas Mavericks, he has been starting the regular seasons really strong. While the team's success didn't always follow up, Luka has always tried to make his presence remembered, especially in the earlier parts of the season, while others are still figuring out their games. Having a good start has been a priority of Luka. There have been some situations where the Mavs began games facing an early deficit, and it proved costly. Luka highlighted the first two games against the Phoenix Suns in the Western Conference semifinals as examples of problematic slow starts, both of which resulted in losses. I think it's important to start well. I think a couple games last year, especially in the playoffs in the first two games against the Suns, our start was not good. That's what I want to improve this year. Luka has been doing just that. The Mavericks started the 2022 season with a 6-4 record, and even though it may not look as impressive, the Mavs finished the season with a 38-44 record, which was not even enough to make the playoffs. This year, the Mavs are doing even better winning four out of their first four games. What is similar in these two seasons are Luka's performances. He has been going crazy at the start of both seasons, setting the tone from the very beginning. The Mavericks have relied heavily on Luka's ability to create play-finishing opportunities for the offense, and it has been doing wonders, and would probably continue to do so as long as Luka is fresh and in top playing shape. An aspect that may be as important as Luka's solo performances is the team's chemistry this season. Even though the Mavs didn't add many big-name players, they seem to have added the right pieces at the right places. Where the Mavs really fell off last season was on the defensive end, but the additions of Grant Williams and Derek Jones Jr., along with better health from Maxi Kleber, who missed 45 games last season, will help the defense. If the Mavs can be league average on defense instead of 25th like they were in last year, they should be in decent shape overall. The Mavs also acquired sharpshooters Davis Bertans and Seth Curry, who will undoubtedly help in spacing the floor for Luka and Kyrie. They also signed Dante Exum for his NBA comeback after a great season in Europe. In the 2022 season, the Mavericks struggled in the 16 games where Luka and Irving played together, but that should be expected when you combine such big-time players whose games require the ball to be in their hands most of the time. 
While some experts say that re-signing Kyrie is the worst move of the Dallas Mavericks 2023 offseason, others may believe otherwise. While Kyrie has played in just two games in the 2023 season and struggled with his efficiency, he still provides the biggest help that Luka has received in his NBA career so far. Having Irving alongside Luka helps the Mavericks' offense a lot, even if he seems to be struggling shooting the basketball. He is still a huge threat around the rim and, of course, an amazing ball handler, so the ball is as safe as it gets in his hands. With the expectations set on Luka and Irving to lead this Mavericks team, they will certainly need to back it up with their play and chemistry on the court. They seem to be doing just that, as videos of the two superstars training together and making some plays for each other have gone public. Of course, players need time to learn their new teammates' games, but when you combine such players, it is only a matter of time before they explode. And when they do, the league better be ready. We are talking about two stars that can get to 30 points in a blink of an eye, our extreme competitors and our cold as ice when it comes to deciding games. Yes, Kyrie has had his fair share of troubles with some of his ex-teammates, but Luka is one of the most likable guys in the league, someone that players have said they love as a teammate. In the first two games of the 2023 season, Kyrie, despite struggling with his efficiency, was Dallas's second leading scorer behind Luka. However, he is a late scratch due to a foot injury. Irving dealt with a groin injury in preseason, and he's now dealing with a left foot injury. He remains focused, though, working hard with the Mavs training staff to recover fully as soon as possible. Kyrie said that he has been doing better. I am doing everything possible to be smart about where my body is. Just taking the necessary steps with our training staff to ensure I stay in shape. One of the worst things is to deal with injuries in preseason, but it's all part of the game. You don't want an injury to carry over into the longevity of the season. The job doesn't stop, it even ramps up when you are injured. You get to focus on the little nuances of your game, your mental sharpness and how connected you are to the group still, and just making sure you're being a good teammate. So it ramps up, but nobody wants to be on the sideline with anything. Just take it one day at a time and be smart. Kyrie has observed the Mavs getting comfortable with their roles and he also sees a natural chemistry building throughout the roster. As a result, trust is being built as well, so the Mavericks are definitely on the right path. Luka has been killing it and Kyrie believes that this is the level that he is going to play on throughout the whole year. Kyrie remains impressed with how Luka succeeds at such a high level while playing within the game's flow and keeping his teammates involved. He also admires Luka's willingness to do whatever it takes to win. I think the numbers will continue to improve throughout the season. It's been good having an anchor like Grant Williams on your back line who can cover up for many mistakes, you know. Same thing with Derek Lively or Derek Jones Jr. We have guys that can guard, want to guard, want to stop the opposing players, and it makes my job a lot easier to go out there and just perform and focus on the other skills of the game that make me great. While nobody expected the Dallas Mavericks to have a good 2023 season, they might be onto something now. This season, Luka has even made a point to have a defensive impact as well, especially late in games. He's come up with some pivotal stops in clutch situations, helping Dallas get to that 4-0 record in the first four games of the season. Another area in which the Mavs have continued to show growth is with their commitment to playing at a faster pace. Everybody on the roster looks to be in playing shape and ready to play at a fast tempo. While Kyrie remains injured and is on the sidelines, the other players on the team have stepped their games up to compensate for Irving's absence. It is not often that you see Luka being the third leading scorer for the Mavs while getting a win, but they did just that against the Bulls. While in the win over the Grizzlies, four players other than Luka scored in double figures. It is very refreshing to see Luka have some help on offense, and it is encouraging to see the Mavericks doing good. Whether they keep it up or not is a matter of time, health, and of course, a little bit of luck. So let's all wish the Dallas Mavericks good luck in the rest of the 2023 NBA season. Let's hope that this NBA season will be the best one in the Luka era.